My name is Ruben Weinklaub. I'm the founder of Gidel. Today I'm going to explain about the ProxSoc system and its connectivity. Connectivity that enables us to reach from any FPGA to any FPGA with direct connections. The basic element is the PROC uh, board. PROC 3M was the previous generation and this is the PROC 6M using the Stratix uh, 3 340 devices. We're using the devices with the largest devices and the largest uh, pin count in order to have the maximum connectivity. We do have within this board connectivity between the two FPGAs and besides that we have from each FPGA six connectors connecting them, three on the front panel and three in the back panel. Also on the back side we do have a backplane connector. Through the backplane the board get receives power, networking, clocking scheme and global IOs and such things. Now it is time to show how these boards are connected together. We have several chassis that host the PROC boards. This is the ProcSoc 3, the smallest one, featuring up to three uh, of those PROC uh, boards. Just slide in the first board, and then the second one, and the third one. Here we see a large array of connectors. This array of connectors enables us to connect from any FPGA to any other FPGA. We do that with bridges and cables. Let's start with the pipeline uh, algorithm. With the pipeline algorithm we would like to connect from a board to a board and we will do that with a PSDB short. We connect over here the two FPGAs through the connectors and then we'll add another one between board number two and three and the same for FPGA number two. So now we have connected board number one to board number two and from board number two to board number three. On the left side we connect FPGA number two of the boards and in the right side we connect FPGA number one between the boards. Now we will use the PB shorts in order to make diagonal connections. In the middle column, one connector belongs to FPJ number one, while the other one belongs to FPJ number two. FPJ number one of the bottom board connected to FPJ number two of the middle board, and FPJ number one of the middle board connected to FPJ number two on the upper board. If we want to have diagonal connections on the opposite direction, we can use the backside rear panel and over there to have the same connection connecting between FPJ number two on the bottom board and FPJ number one of the middle board. The ProcSoc system enables to have an effective bus connection by using PB bus. Here we can see how FPJ number two of all the boards are connected together when one FPJ delivers the data to all of the rest. Now we will make a bus connection connecting all FPJs of the system. In the middle column, one connector belongs to FPJ number one and the other connector belongs to FPJ number two. So by placing the PB buses on the middle column, we can make this bridge. Now any FPJ can be the source of data to all other FPJs and then it can be switched to be driven from any other FPJ. Finally, to complete any connectivity from any FPJ to any FPJ, we can use the high speed cables. In this case, we will illustrate how FPJ number two of the bottom board is simply connected to FPJ number one on the upper board. This is the back side of the ProcSoc 3. It has a blank panels and we see user connectivity to the outside world. Now again, we see from the back side the bridges connecting and the cables. On the left side we have here the ProcSoc 3 motherboard connecting all three boards, delivering the clocks uh, tree. 
Here we see SMB connectors for receiving and transmitting external clock signals. LEDs power in the back and JTAG connection to connect for signal tapping through all the FPGAs. Here we have also additional place for user data boards to be added. It can be either things that comes from Gidel or user add-on uh, data boards. In this case it's an SODIM extension. Over here it's a PSDB adapter having the PSDB PHY for adding connectivity with the 1G link. When user wants to add daughter boards, these are the small ones, but also the user can replace a full-size board and having one or two of GDL boards with one or two of user boards in order to, be, to have the full complete system built within the frame. User direct access to the custom board is now enabled with an open frame model. For a large system, ProxSoc 10 may be used. It contained up to 10 PROC boards with all the connectivity hidden behind the doors. Huge system may be achieved by connecting several ProcSoc 10 units. By removing the doors, user may directly connect any FPGA from the first unit to any FPGA of the other unit.